Hey, it's Ben from PhotoshopActionScripts.com, and in this video, I'm going to run one of our software eCover action scripts, and I'm just going to use this um, this abstract cloud picture just as an example. So what I'm going to do is I've already got all the action scripts installed. I'm going to open up my actions palette, which is already open. You just go to Windows and then Actions, and then you'll use this little drop-down menu right here and choose the one you want. For this particular video, I'm just going to use Software Box One. I'm going to hit step one and then press play. Now this is going to set the uh, template for where my software uh, Im software box image is going to be pasted on top of. And as you can see this one has a rounded corner like a I guess they call it a vista box. So um, I'm not going to get too detailed in this one but I'm just going to kind of show you one you know a couple things you can do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this whole layer right here from this other image, just some abstract image I downloaded. And I'm going to, let's see here, don't worry about the size right now because the since these are 300 dpi, these images are like massive. So like, see this is only showing 30% of the actual size right now. Oops, just a second. Okay, so I'm going to hit control T, or you can go to edit and then go down to free transform. And I'm just going to drag this down here like so. That's probably good. I'm going to apply the transformation. And then to see the area that you're working with, you can go up here on this layer and you can drop the opacity down. And you know that it's going to be there. So um, one thing you can do is you can either go ahead and start putting your titles on top or you can add other images. Or see how they have these lines right here. Lines are usually really good on software boxes. But like I said, this tutorial is not really a tutorial on how to design your software box it's more just showing how to run the action script but I will do a couple little short things so say for instance um, I'm still on this layer of the clouds but say I want to do a line right here I'm going to go to layer oops go to fill layer solid color okay and we'll go with the dark blue because it's kind of like a cloud theme then on that same layer, I'll go to layer style. Let's put a drop shadow on there. And then uh, we'll put a stroke. Make it a, like a off-white. Increase the size a little bit. The drop shadow, I'm going to lower the opacity. Increase the size a little bit right there. I'm going to hit OK. And since uh, you can see this little corner right here, it kind of drops off. I'm just going to control T again and I'm just going to pull these out from the sides. Okay. Now let me go back to this layer and turn the opacity back up. And you see something like that. And then if you want you can add like your uh title and stuff. Oops. Okay. So say I'm just going to put the name of my software. Let me lower the opacity again just to make sure I'm not want, want it to be right there. And you can put all kinds of effects on there. Like I said, this is just going to be an example. So say so something like that. You can put words down here, put images. Say if you want to put like a Windows or Mac logo and all that good stuff. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and say that that's a finished product. So once you get everything on here, you know, go ahead and click step two, and then press play, then continue. Now this is going. To, this is actually the final step. It's going to go ahead and run the action and turn it into the software box. So it usually takes about 30 seconds to a couple minutes, depending on which action you're using and how fast your computer is. So I'll go ahead and let that run. Okay, now the software box is finished, and as you see, it's a it's at 23% size right now. So if I put that up to 100, as you can see, it's going to be really big, which is too big because we're just using these for uh, pictures to put on websites and, and such. So to change that, go to image, go down to image size, and make sure constraint proportions is checked. And then I'm going to change the width to let's say 600, and then click OK. Okay, and there you have it. Um, the next, the last thing I suggest doing is to go over here to your background layer and make it uh, invisible. So then it's you're working with just these layers. 
and then right click inside one of these other layers and go to merge visible what that's going to do is it's going to turn all those little layers into one which is just your e-cover by itself so then say you want to change the background of this it won't affect anything else so layer the layer solid color so we'll just pick like whatever color you want we'll do like a light blue or we'll do a gray however you want to do it and um, obviously this isn't the nicest looking e cover this is just a three second design <laughs> that I threw together just to show you an example of how it works so that's really all there is to it um, you can get these Photoshop action scripts at photoshopactionscripts.com there's a link below this video to where you can check those out and uh, view the other 49 different e cover scripts we have I mean there's uh, there's USB devices there's a mp3 player We've got ring binders, we've got folders, clipboards, we've got all kinds of stuff. So make sure you check that out, and thanks for watching the video, and I'll talk to you soon.